Hey there, this is Teacher Ola Podcast, episode 27, Learn English with Abba. Happy New Year! My name's Ola and I'm an online English teacher. This podcast is for you if you're an English learner who wants to speak English with more confidence and get rid of speaking barriers. Go to my website for full transcripts and worksheets to each episode. Happy learning! Hello and thank you for making this decision to learn some English today. I hope you spent New Year's Eve exactly how you had wanted. Where were you? At a party? At your friends? In your bed or on the sofa? No matter how you greeted 2020, I hope it'll be the best year of your life. I wish you all the best. Lots of love, kindness, happiness and of course meeting all your goals. I hope your English will skyrocket this year and you'll eliminate the blockade that stops you from being you. Today I decided it has to be Happy New Year. Everybody knows the melody, especially the chorus, but do you really understand the lyrics? They're less cheerful than you think, I dare say. Let's learn some English with a song written for the end of the decade, but... 30 years ago. It gives me the shivers how time flies. I was one when the song was released. Many of you weren't even born. After listening and repeating sentences, please go to teacherola.com forward slash 27 and download the worksheet. Do your homework, okay? I'll read the whole text line by line and I'll stop every four lines to explain the vocabulary. Your task is to focus on the lyrics and example sentences and repeat them. Let's do it, shall we? No more champagne. And the fireworks are through. Here we are, me and you. Feeling lost and feeling blue. Great job. Okay, so to be through means to be finished or completed. The fireworks are over, they are through. When people end the relationship, they can say to each other, we're through. Let's repeat. We're through. She said she was through with me. Once that project is through, can you file this paperwork? You started that book on Monday. Are you through yet? Here we are. It's used when you have finally arrived somewhere you were traveling to. Repeat. Here we are, home at last. To feel lost. Lost is an adjective. If you are lost, you don't know where you are and you're unable to find your way somewhere. You might also know an American TV series, once very popular, I used to watch it of course, Lost, about the survivors of a plane crash who ended up on a mysterious island somewhere in the South Pacific Ocean. Keep in mind that the past simple and past participle of lose is lost. It's an irregular verb. It's quite common though to make a mistake of turning it of turning it into a regular verb. So sometimes I hear lost it. Forget it, use lost. Lose, lost, loss. Repeat after me. Are you lost? The driver asked. Are you lost? The driver asked. I got lost on the way here. To feel blue, to feel sad and without hope. A good synonym of blue is sad or depressed. Let's repeat examples. I've been feeling kind of blue. He'd been feeling blue all week. Next verse. It's the end of the party. And the morning seems so grey. So unlike yesterday. Now's the time for us to say before you find out 
what we all should say today. Let's have a look at some phrases. The morning seems so gray. If something seems to be true, for example, there are things that make you, make people think it is true. So here, the morning seems so gray. We have such an impression, it appears gray. Repeat, please. She didn't seem very pleased. It seems like you're really upset. It seems like a good idea. The building seems to be in good condition. Unlike yesterday. Unlike means different. It's an adjective and a preposition. Yesterday was very different, right? People, music, food, laughter. Now everything seems so grey. Let's repeat sentences. It's unlike her to be late. Unlike most of my colleagues, I don't come to the office before 8 a.m. They're both teachers, but they're unlike. The chorus now. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. May we all have a vision now and then. Of a world where every neighbor is a friend. May we all have a vision. May here is used to express a desire, a wish. Like in the song White Christmas, um, may your days be merry and bright and may all your Christmases be white. That's wishes. Let's repeat. May all your wishes come true. May you both be very happy. May you have a prosperous new year. Neighbor. Seems like a simple word, but I notice many pronunciation errors here. You can say neighbor or neighbor. And a neighbor is a person who lives next to you or near you. But not only, it's also a country or a person standing next to you or any other human in a broad sense. Let's see the examples. We should all love our neighbors. Children, please be quiet and don't talk to your neighbor. Next verse. May we all have our hopes, our will to try. If we don't, we might as well lay down and die. You and I. A will to try. You know, will is a modal verb, but here it acts as a noun, a will. A will is a determination to do something that you have decided to do, like your resolution for the next year. Even if this is difficult, let's practice. Some people have a weak will. She's achieved success by her strength of will. I have an iron will to speak English every day this year. Let it be your mantra, okay? Let's repeat again. I have an iron will to speak English every day this year. Might as well, a cool expression, meaning you should do something because there is no good reason not to. It can be used to say that the, the effect of an action or situation is the same as if it was another one. Here in the lyrics, it said that we need our hopes and we need our will to try. If we don't have them, if we don't have our hopes and strong will, the consequences will be severe. We have no other option. We need to hope for the better. If we don't, we might as well just lay down and die. I guess we might as well go home. 
The deadline is tomorrow, but you might as well send it on Monday. I'm sure they'll accept it. The deadline is tomorrow, but you might as well send it on Monday. I'm sure they'll accept it. The weather is so bad, we might as well stay at the hotel. Next four lines. Sometimes I see how the brave new world arrives. And I see how it thrives. In the ashes of our lives. Thrive to become and continue to be successful, strong or wealthy or healthy. Um, for example, her business is thriving. These plants thrive when watered properly. Children thrive on rules. Ashes of our lives, the ash that remains after burning a dead person's body or a situation in which something is completely destroyed. Ashes of our lives, only ashes are left. Whatever is left of us. Repeat sentences. His ashes were scattered around his house. The company has risen from the ashes and is thriving now. The company has risen from the ashes and is thriving now. And the last bit of the text. Oh yes, man is a fool. And he thinks he'll be okay. Dragging on feet of clay. Never knowing he's astray. Keeps on going anyway. A fool? An idiot? Short definition. Repeat after me. Don't be such a fool. Don't be such a fool. Don't make a fool of yourself. I accepted the offer like a fool. Dragging on, to drag on, means to go on for too long. Repeat after me. The cold battle dragged on for another two years. The cold battle dragged on for another two years. The meeting dragged on till late afternoon. The meeting dragged on till late afternoon. Feet of clay. If you have feet of clay, you have some kind of weakness in your character. For example, don't be surprised when you discover your idol has feet of clay. Don't be surprised when you discover your idol has feet of clay. To be astray, to be astray or to go astray means to be lost. If your plan goes astray, it goes wrong. Let's repeat some sentences. The best plans can go astray. The best plans can go astray. Her letter went astray and was never found. Her letter went astray and was never found. The plot is really complex. The reader can easily go astray. The plot is really complex and the reader can easily go astray.
to keep on going or to keep on doing something means to continue doing something without stopping. Let's repeat. He didn't say a word, just kept on working. Don't mind me, just keep on dancing. Don't mind me, just keep on dancing. You just have to keep on trying. You just have to keep on trying. And one more verse. Seems to me now that the dreams we had before are all dead, nothing more. Then confetti on the floor. Okay, guys, dead. Dead is an adjective. Don't confuse it with death, which is a noun. See the difference? Can you hear the difference? Dead, adjective, and death, noun. Let's repeat some sentences in practice. He was shot dead in front of his house. He was shot dead in front of his house. Latin is a dead language. What was the cause of her death? Do you believe in life after death? The last verse now. It's the end of a decade. In another ten years time. Who can say what we'll find? What lies waiting down the line? In the end of 89. Okay, guys, a decade, a period of 10 years, obviously, the same word in Polish. In another 10 years time, in 10 years from now, means in the future. 10 years from now, into the future. Let's repeat. I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. I need it in two hours. Please hurry. I need it in two hours. Please hurry. Waiting down the line. Down the line means in the future. Repeat. You never know what's down the line. You never know what's down the line. I'll make a decision further down the line. I'll make a decision further down the line. Here you have it. The lyrics of Happy New Year explained. Now, how are you feeling at the beginning of the new decade? Have you made any resolutions? I make a lot of plans every year and I track them all year long. How about you? This time, maybe you noticed some of the sentences I repeated twice. So if possible, please let me know if it's any better, if you feel more comfortable, if it's just easier for you to repeat when I say it twice. Just let me know if you can. Teacherola.com forward slash 27. There you'll find a full and free transcript as well as the worksheet. Please spread the word about my podcast. Maybe there's someone you know who needs it. Let them know. Thank you so very, very much for tuning in. Next Wednesday, we'll meet here to talk about some grammar. This time, it's going to be their passive voice. Don't miss it. Till next Wednesday, stay warm, take care, happy learning, happy new year. Bye-bye. Oh.